हेलो एवरीवन आई एम विजय गाडवे एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड द डेटा असेट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल क्रिएट द बैच इन्फ्रेंस पाइपलाइन सो लेट अस गो टू द अजो मशीन लर्निंग स्टूडियो एंड डू द सेम सो हियर आई एम ऑन द अजोर मशीन लर्निंग स्टूडियो स्क्रोल डाउन गो टू पाइपलाइंस we are under the pipeline jobs previously we have created the real time inference pipeline this one now we have to create the batch inference pipeline so open this job run final pipeline with poisson regression let us create the batch inference pipeline here we have two options real time inference pipeline and batch inference pipeline we have to create the batch inference pipeline loading now it will create a batch inference pipeline for us and the batch inference pipeline is created successfully let us understand this i'll open another azure machine learning studio here go to jobs experiment open this job run final pipeline with poisson regression using this job run we have created the batch inference pipeline so we will compare this job run and the batch inference pipeline in the batch inference pipeline these four components are removed clean missing data the machine learning algorithm poisson regression train model component and split data component and these three components are added this one td final pipeline with poisson regression md final pipeline with poisson regression and apply transformation so these four components are removed 1 2 3 and 4 and these three components are added 1 2 and 3 now before proceeding further we have to make few changes in this pipeline now note down an important point here in this batch inference pipeline we are not getting the web service input and web service output components and this is because the batch inference pipeline is expecting a data set as an input parameter as well as the output will be again a data set and this is why we are not getting web service input and web service output components here in this batch inference pipeline let us make the changes click on the automobile price data this is the data asset scroll down check this box set as pipeline input input name we will go with the default name data set 1 let us understand why we have to set the pipeline parameter here in this data set to make the predictions on new data you can manually connect a different data set in this pipeline draft or you can create a pipeline parameter for your data set So here we are creating a pipeline parameter for our data set. So this is the first change setting as pipeline input or you can say we are setting as pipeline parameter. Now we have to remove this component evaluate model. We don't require this component further. So we are removing the same. Let us make the third change. Search here under the component export data component let us understand about this component export data component information with the help of this component we can write a data set to the cloud based storage in azure for example azure blob storage azure data lake storage generation 1 and generation 2 now connect this core model component to the export data component that means we are storing the output of this core model component to the export data component let us select the type data store type azure blob storage let us select the data store azure ml ds02 output path we can specify the complete path or the file name here i'll give the file name predictions.csv then the file format csv number of rows per operation 
we will go with the default value that is 50. So till now we made three changes in this batch inference pipeline. Here is the first change set as pipeline input. Then we removed the evaluate model component and we have added this component export data. Here we are specifying the file name. You can specify the path as well. Let us change the pipeline name. Poisson regression batch inference pipeline. And save. Now we have to run this pipeline. Configure plus submit. Experiment name. We will select existing experiment. Automobile regression. Job display name. Poisson regression. Batch inference pipeline. We are not going to specify any job description and tags. Inputs plus outputs. Here we have option to select the data asset. We will select this data asset, the default one. Automobile price data. This is our data set. Runtime settings. Select compute type, compute cluster. Select Azure Machine Learning Compute Cluster. Compute Cluster 09. And we will go with the default data store. Now review plus submit. These are the details that we specified. And submit. Success. Pipeline job has been submitted. Go to pipelines. And here you can see status running. That means this pipeline is running. You can see the same here. Now it will take few minutes to complete this pipeline run. So I'll fast forward the process. So the pipeline run is completed successfully. Let us check how much time it has taken. Go to pipelines. This is the pipeline job that we ran. It has taken 10 minutes and 55 seconds to complete this pipeline run. Now click on this pipeline run. Poisson regression batch inference pipeline. So this is the pipeline that we ran. Let us revise the steps. Go to pipelines. Open the final pipeline with Poisson regression. From this job run, final pipeline Poisson regression, we have created the batch inference pipeline. This is the batch inference pipeline. Four components are removed. These four components from this job run and these three components are added in this batch inference pipeline. After that we check this box set as pipeline input inside the data set automobile price data then we removed the component evaluate model and we have added this component export data. So this tutorial about creating the batch inference pipeline ends here. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy learning.